Hey guys, Super Cosmo Final Wars here, and he can set. Now, if you're wondering, well, why does Godzilla and Lower Godzilla sort of right, like right to us and the caravan? Is looking at us from this angle? Well, here's the thing. What? There's so many freaking monsters on here! Super Final Wars, there's no such thing as too many monsters. Uh, Super Final Wars, why is there an owl source chilling on our backs? Because I don't have a Gorosaurus figure, I don't have a Vibragon figure, and I don't have a Kumanga and Gamacris. Wait, did Gamacris make an appearance in this film? No, it's just Kumanga. Oh. Well, you get the point. So as you guys can clearly see, we're reviewing Destroy All Monsters. Which was supposed to be the final Godzilla movie. But look how that turned out. <laughs> I think guys will start. I think guys will last as longer than Transformers. No, no kidding. Anyway, so without further ado, ooh, let's get started. So, did this film turn out to be a good film? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You guys are in for a treat. <sighs> I need a drink. Okay. Now, let's get on to the review, shall we? So for Destroy All Monsters, it's not the best. Well, it's probably better than the other films so far. Like, Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster and Son of Godzilla. But I find the most confusing thing about this movie was the fact that that people from the future actually managed to go back in time, capture all the monsters, and put them on an island called Monsterland. But it's a game more popular and well known name known as Monster Island. They literally went back in time and captured all the monsters, start from Godzilla, all the way to freaking Varan. They captured Godzilla Manila, Angurius, Rodan, Mothra, Gorosaurus, Varan, Manda, Baragon. Varan and Man, Varan and Baragon don't have any, that much appearance at all. They only Here's like a few shots and then that's it. And I find it more confusing that they captured Mothra because last time I checked, she is an Earth Guardian. She's a good monster. Why does she need to be captured by the humans and get put onto an island known as Monster Island? And they even put out weird things to keep the monsters in the island. Like the last time I checked, it's, the monsters, they don't really need like human technology just to keep them at one spot. They could choose to stay on that island if they wanted to. Just like how Kong used to stay on Skull Island, but in almost every King Kong movie. That was until the aliens showed up and started mind controlling all the monsters and having them go on a rampage. Even freaking Mothra is put on the mind control. Like seriously, where are the Mothra twins at this point? Where are the freaking Mothra twins? Why aren't they here defending their monster? Like seriously, I find this film 
a whole lot more confusing than all the other films. But it makes up for it because there's a lot of city destroying scenes. But my main problem with this movie was the fact that they focused way too much on the human characters. Just way too much. I'm sorry to understand you know, where the friggin' monster, the Earth Godzilla children went. They freaking used this film as a reference. And what is your... And, and guys, what is your excuse? Um... Well, we tried to start the directors to show more monster scenes. But things didn't turn out so well. So, yeah. So you talked to the directors... And they didn't do anything to change the plot? Uh... No. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, hell no. That's a lot of no's. But, uh, there's also first the return of King Ghidorah. And I'm surprised that the alien invaders Choose the mind control King Ghidorah for a second, for a third time. Oh, hey. Yeah, the second time. And by the way, I have another question. What's up with everybody wearing yellow in this movie? Seriously, almost every single person is wearing yellow. What the frick? <laughs> That's what we said too, like, like, when we started working on the on this film, we were just like, uh, what's up with all the, why are those human characters wearing yellow? What's up with the, what's up with the yellow? What's up with the yellow, huh? Yeah, I prove, I prove my point that this film's a lot more confusing than the other films. But at least it makes up for it. But I will admit, Seeing King Ghidorah King is butt by all those other monsters was just funny. Yeah, I was just like, uh, guys, isn't this a little unfair? Oh yeah, you're the one to talk, Mr. Mr. Three Heads. Yeah. And I don't say enjoy the monster scenes. I only wish that they kept it going with more monster scenes. But in the end, Destroy the Monsters proved to be an okay film. Despite this film was supposed to be the last Godzilla movie. But look how that turned out. I feel like Godzilla lasts us longer than Transformers do. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. So for this movie, I will give this movie seven and a half Golden Godzilla Earth stars. Out of ten. The reason why it's for seven and a half, it makes up for with a lot of monster scenes, an interesting storyline, an interesting plot line, and everything else I find more interesting besides that it's confusing. And I also wish to see this in a future film, but with more monster action. More city destroying scenes, more Less people wearing yellow. Like seriously, almost every single human character is wearing just freaking yellow. So we hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye bye.